we all own a lot of handhelds but which ones do we actually pick up and play I'm gonna show you today in this video what handhelds I choose as my go-to and my favorites welcome back to Life Today Gaming OG subscribe Hi guys, welcome back to Life with Take Gaming. While you're here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell hit so you know every time I'm post. If it's your first time on the channel, I'm Tay. Welcome. You guys, this video we're gonna be going through some handhelds that I actually go to and play. I think these are like some of the top handhelds on the market too, just like for form factor, comfortability, all of that type of thing. I'm gonna go through the ones that you know that I actually pick up and get use of because I'm I, I'm a collector of things as well so I have a lot of different handhelds but which ones do I actually use and feel comfortable in the hand with at this age so we'll start with number one let's get right into the video GBA indigo atomic purple whatever you want to call it see through I love this form factor on the GBA I pick this up and still go at it like you know what I mean like just feels comfortable in your hands not too it could be a little bigger and I feel more comfortable, but when I'm playing, I want to play a GBA game, I play with this, and this is actually like a, you know, a modified one. I actually have the IPS display in there. So it's, so you can play in the dark, you can adjust the lighting on it. It just, it's missing that, you know, that, um, what was it called? <laughs> the over the top light. Modern day functionality, you need the IPS display, you need a backlit screen. So with this form factor and with this form factor in the backlit screen, the GBA, I still get love for me to play GBA games. Leave in a comment below if you still play your GBA. Number two, 2DS, new 2DS XL. This is the Pokeball version right here. This form factor is like similar to GBA, bigger. Two displays for the modern game. So the 3DS, and like the 3ds xl i don't like the 3d on it i don't know but you guys leave in the comment below if you guys like the 3d it gives me a headache it just this doesn't have that 3d display but it plays those games in 2d and with this form factor this clamshell these buttons everything it just looks so pretty like look at that the pokeball new 2ds xl this is a go-to pickup if i'm going to play 3ds I'm playing it on this device or any 2DS XL that I have like I have a few of them I have I also have um this is one sealed still though but this and the Pikachu edition one this is the go-to out of the three I just love it I think it looks cool red white and black very nice little clicky button that's my number two go-to if I'm playing a DS game now 2DS XL this copies the aspect ratios on everything on a bigger in a bigger form great the pixels look great i also looked up and if you're going to play a ds game to play it on it's going to look the best apart from the ds or dsi light or ds light this is going to be the biggest screen and it's going to have the same aspect ratio as them and it's just going to be the best for you to play ds games on so if i'm playing a ds game i'm playing it on this device right here this is the color i have it in the bronze and like whatever i'm playing chrono trigger currently on there great game a little confusing with the back and time back and forth in the timeline but i love it that's my number three dsi xl boom ps vita oled a lot of people sleep on this device it is very very clean the screen the oled screen the battery life is actually pretty good on there um as well as the technology, I feel like Sony was way ahead of their time because you can run Bluetooth on here, Netflix. The Switch just came out with an update that allowed us to have Bluetooth. Like, what were you thinking? This thing is ahead of its time. I still pick it up if I'm playing any Vita games. You could, they're very moddable. So if you want to play any of your old retro games on there, you can run, run it by 16 by 10 or 16 by 9 screen on there. Looks good. Nice. Pick this up. If you don't have Vita and your OLED handheld to pick up, same form factor you guys are seeing a trend right like this in the hand right here can play for hours no cramps i tried playing like game boy color the other day and i was like what am i doing what nintendo switch this thing is obviously you see with the new kickstand it's more durable this thing is beautiful to play on it runs all the triple a titles with great battery life because obviously it was made for it it just feels incredible you guys you have to have a switch nowadays 
pick get it pick up the gold throw it in your bag this is great very good device i've been it gets lots of love for me if you see my previous video if you haven't hit the right here and check out my switch collection i have a lot of titles for this thing man this thing runs it beautifully number five that's my fifth and recently i've acquired doo -doo -doo, the steam deck valve steam deck this thing is gorgeous it is i thought i didn't want one because it was so big that's what she said <laughs> And I thought it feel uncomfortable, but in your hand, it's like running around with a portable computer in your hand. I can download games directly from the internet onto this, onto my SD card, or onto the console, and just give it a go. Steam is great. Very customizable as well. I know there's a lot of emulators. You guys, emulating on this thing is pretty powerful. For all the, everything like PS2 and under runs smooth. I don't leave a list on how to get any of these things or condone this, but I mean like this thing has endless options. If you don't get your hands on a Steam Deck or don't want to run emulations just for using the Steam titles either, it's smooth. If it's running Spider-Man at 60 FPS, a whole bunch of other uh, titles, this is definitely a must have if you love gaming on the go. Check it out, you guys. And it runs smooth from, I think, from PS2 down. It runs pretty smooth, but it can do 360, PS3, those type of games. And I wouldn't say 100%, but a lot of titles run smooth on it. And this thing is just great. Steam Deck is definitely one of the handhelds that I, I put up there. Boom, that's number six. These are my top six go-to handhelds. Which one is your guys' favorite? Which one gets the most love from you guys? And all the other ones, what are you doing with them? Just being a collector like me? <laughs> These I feel like are the most comfortable, battery life, graphically. It's just, I think, leave it in the comment below. If you have another device I'm missing that you actually pick up and play on or you just emulate everything or you everything you're doing everything on the computer nowadays are you still playing these handhelds do they get love from you are they collecting dust pick them up these ones are good they're comfortable long life throw it in your bag fit in your pocket i feel like these are the top handhelds right now i may be wrong leave in the comment below if i'm wrong hope you guys enjoyed this video leave in the comment below if there's a handheld that i didn't name that you guys use all the time that you feel like is very comfortable and good to go I know the analog pocket, okay, I don't have it, okay? I don't have one, I'm waiting. Mine's in limbo right now, it's coming soon. But if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe, share the video, give it a big thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.